So let us move to the next problem. So here we need to show that the cut of sin inverse of root of 13 by 17 equals to sin of tan inverse 2 by 3. So just let us observe the problem. This is left hand side, this is right hand side. So that means for example, if you consider sin inverse root of 13 by 17 equals to something alpha that is cot alpha. So left hand side becomes cot alpha. Now just if you say tan inverse 2 by 3 is equal to beta, the right hand side becomes sin beta. If cot alpha value and sin beta value both are same, then these two values are said to be equal. So that means we need to we need to prove that we have that means indirectly we are restating the problem indirectly here we have to prove that the cot alpha is equal to sin beta if that happens then the problem will be solved so let us solve it so let us suppose sin inverse root of 13 by 17 equals to alpha sin alpha equals to root 13 by root 17 root of a by b is simple very simple root a by root b so now here consider left hand side that is cot alpha cot alpha means you take the triangle say this alpha as for the definition of sin function this is root 13, this will be root 17. Root 17 square is 17, this is root 13 square 13. 17 minus 13 is 4, this will be 2. Now cot alpha write down. What is the cot alpha definition? That is actually cot alpha is adjacent side by opposite side. 2 by root 13. This is LHS. Now let us suppose tan inverse 2 by 3 equals to beta that implies tan beta is equal to 2 by 3 but we need to find out sin beta here so that means consider the triangle here this is beta this is 2 this 3 this will be 4 plus 9, 13. This will be root 13. Here RHS. What is the RHS value need to be evaluated here? That is sin beta. So sin beta equals to here 2 by root 13. Now what do you observe? LHS is equal to RHS. LHS equal to RHS. So that means what is LHS? That is cot alpha equals to sin beta. Now let the alpha and beta values are to be replaced once again. So therefore cot of sin inverse root of 13 by 17 equals to sin of beta that is tan inverse 2 by 3 hence it is proved so let us proceed for the next problem so let us read the question first. Prove that cos of 2 tan inverse 1 by 7 equals to sin of 2 tan inverse of 3 by 4. It's very interesting problem. So now first of all, in order to solve this one, say tan inverse 1 by 7 is equal to alpha. Tan alpha becomes 1 by 7. But in the left hand side, we need to find out cos 2 alpha. So we have to question ourselves. Can we express cos 2 alpha in terms of tan, tan alpha? Because as we know the tan alpha value, so that the cos 2 alpha can be 
here evaluated. So let us proceed, observe the right hand side. In the right hand side also, let us say tan was 3 by 4 is equal to beta. Now the left hand side becomes sin of 2 beta. Now one more question we have to raise ourselves in our mind. So can we express the sin 2 beta in terms of tan beta? So then our purpose will be solved so that the RHS will be obtained. Then we have to compare LHS and RHS values. If they are equal, then this can be proved. So let us proceed. Let tan inverse 1 by 7 equals to alpha. Tan alpha equals to 1 by 7. Now take LHS. LHS is cos of 2 tan inverse 1 by 7. This equal to cos 2 alpha. See the cos 2 alpha from multiple and sub multiple angles we have discussed in our playlist also in our YouTube channel sakalavijja.com. So that may be available even for the sake of the proofs also. So in sub multiple and multiple angles we have discussed how to express cos 2 alpha in terms of tan alpha. So that is equal to you might be actually recalling that formula 1 minus tan square alpha by 1 plus tan square alpha. So let us substitute tan alpha here. So 1 minus tan alpha square that is 1 by 7 square by 1 plus 1 by 7 square. So, equals to 1 minus 1 by 49, 1 plus 1 by 49. Am I correct? So, let it be simplified. Here 49 is the LCM, 49 minus 1, this is the 49 is the LCM, 49 plus 1. So, 49, 49 cancel, we have 48 by 50. Further, we can simplify as a P by Q form where P comma Q are co primes here 224, 25 a relative loop prime 24 by 25. Say equation 1 or this is the LHS. So, in the similar pattern, in the similar manner, we have to find out right hand side RHS. Before going to the RHS, it had better to assume. Let tan inverse 3 by 4 equals to beta. So now tan beta is equal to 3 by 4. So now it is a time to consider RHS. Now RHS sin of 2 tan inverse 3 by 4. This is sin 2 beta. Once again we have to recall the sin 2 beta value in terms of tan beta. So that can be written here 2 tan beta by 1 plus tan square beta. Let us substitute tan beta value that is 3 by 4 here. 2 times 3 by 4 by 1 plus 3 by 4 whole square. This is 6 by 4 upon 1 plus 9 by 16. Further we can simplify. This is 3 by 2. 16 is the LCM, 16 plus 9. 3 by 2 multiplied by 16 by 25. 2 1 ja, 2 8 ja. 24 by 25. Say this is equation 2. Now what do you observe from LHS and RHS? See 24 by 25, 24 by 25. Now LHS is equal to RHS. So hence it is proved.